for Figma. Uh, <clears throat> I wanted to walk through use case and the algorithm behind it and uh, just kind of talk about my experience. It was my first time building a, a plugin, a Figma plugin, and it was uh, pretty easy actually. It was pretty awesome. But uh, let me walk through just kind of the this specific plugin and again the the, the logic behind what it does. Um, so here it is, it's the Logo Grid Resizer. And you can see here, there are kind of three different examples. Um, you can see here, these logos on this bottom one, they have an equal height. And um, this is a common thing where you're talking about your customers or your um, you know, awards or your uh, um, featured in magazines or whatever, right? In, in design, this is a, a common problem. Um, and often what happens is if you have something like this, you know, these guys are all stoked, but these kind of smaller logos, uh, these vertical logos are not as, as stoked, right? Toyota has way more space and, uh, Black Diamond has way more space in Facebook. Uh, if you're in, and if you're looking at these green reference boxes, you can see, um, proportionally, yeah, these are way bigger than these smaller ones. So, but that's that's because the heights are all equal and these horizontal ones have, you know, a bigger width and that, that ratio is different. Uh, when we make the width equal to all these, same thing, but the opposite, right? Like Google, um, which normally is, is uh, you know, horizontal and not too bad down here. Um, when the widths are normalized, it looks really bad. And again, Tesla, that's this vertical um, uh, uh, logo here. You know, when we ma match the widths to all these, uh, you know, it's great for some of these brands, but uh, again, now the horizontal ones aren't fair. So the proper kind of objective here, the goal here is to make these all visually balanced. And you can see how they're balanced here. Uh, the, the, none of them fit right in the box, but they all take about equal visual weight. If you squint your eyes and look at them, you, they all kind of take about the same uh, amount of space uh, and, and so it's it's balanced everyone feels equal and and happy in this in this situation um, so yeah I'm going to show you what uh, a, a, an example of how this works so let's see so I start off here I have this grid of logos you can see some of those I was just showing um, and you can see it here right I have this grid they're all in an auto layout um, and I can just see them all shuffling and um, I have the different you know, row spacing, different column spacing, uh, but none of these are sized, right? These are all just vector. They're all can be, can be completely, first off, like they're, yeah, like the Apple logo versus the Domino's logo um, versus this guy. They're all roughly square, but these are just way small. So it one solves that, kind of normalizes all of these sizes. Uh, and then two, it balances these. Clearly SoftBank and this Swiss whatever are, are much bigger than some of these others. Um, this one logo. And then some of these you can't even read, right? So um, yeah, so I wanna walk through the algorithm. And basically all I do here is I get this image ratio, right? So um, this NASA one, for example, is 154 by 43, right? So 154 divided by 43. It's 3.5, right? Um, so we'll do 3.5. Uh, and that's the, that's the NASA one, just so we can remember. Um, notice like this one, for example, it's 150 by 150. Um, 150 by 150, the ratio is one, right? Obviously, so one to one is a square. And, um, you know, something like this is uh, a much bigger number. Something like this, 114 by 164 by 164 is 0.6, right? So um, we have one and then we have 0 0.6. So the algorithms will go, or sorry, the ratios will go from, you know, whatever, 10 down to like 0 0.1 or whatever, if you had something super vertical. Um, so that's, that's kind of our range that we're dealing with. Um, so we have this, first of all, this value image ratio with times height. It's again, one of these numbers. And then we run it through this math pow um, uh, function. Uh, that's a built-in JavaScript function. Um, and basically what happened, this is a definition of what that um, 
math uh, method does. Um, so passing in x and y into MathPow is basically just saying multiply x y times, right? Uh, and then on its end, if you do x, multiply x zero times, that equals one, no matter what x is. And then if you do x one time, it's going to equal whatever x is. So really, the result here is we're going to get a scale from a range from one up till whatever that uh, ratio is, right? So here I have image ratio, and then I'm multiplying that by scale factor, and then I multiply it by base. Um, and and so let me let me show you this real quick. So base, let's say base is arbitrary, right? It's just hey, I want them all to start at a hundred pixels wide. Um, and again, in this situation, if it's at zero, width would equal 100 because I've, I've set it here. And then here, if X is 0.6, uh, it would be 100 times 0.6, so it would be 60. If this one, this NASA one was, the, the, the base was supposed to be 100, uh, but then I normalized this here all the way to one, then it would be 100 times 3.5, so it would be... 350. So basically what that's doing, this, this one is for a horizontal logo. This is one to one, so that would just be 100 by 100. And then this one would be 60 wide by whatever it is tall. And what that does is that balances them all out. So what we're going to do here, um, it's much easier just to, just to show you. So let me uh, just show you what uh, the, this thing does. So I come into here, I have this grid, I've gathered these logos from all over. Um, I go into here, and now I have each one of these items selected. Um, let me turn that off. Okay, so now I go to plugins. It's called Logo Grid Resizer. Here it is. And back to those algorithms, I have, you know, here's my base. That's this one here. And then my scale factor is, is um, basically this image ratio. Um, I'm sorry. It's it's the uh, it's this it's this yeah yeah scale factor here. Sorry. Uh, so um, yeah. So so we have this number, which was the again 0. 0.6 to 3.5 or whatever that ends up being. Uh, we multiply that by from zero to one, and then we um, uh, uh, multiply that by zero to one times, and then we multiply that by this base width. So let's pull this up here and start sizing this. So the base width is now 243. I haven't done anything, it hasn't run yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this here to, let's see, a base width of 80, let's say. So right there, everything's sized properly. Um, now, if you change the scale factor to zero, the base width is 80, they're all 80 wide. So every single one of these is 80 wide, again, not fair for these horizontal logos. Um, let me turn off the green. That's really um, annoying. And then we'll do, uh, just turn that to white just so we're not dealing with color. So you can see this, this um, you know, the spacing here is, is, you can see these columns establishing, right? And so that width is the same across all of these. Um, and yeah, so that's a problem. If I was the CEO of whoever this is, I would be mad if I was sponsoring a t-shirt, you know, sponsoring a race and that I was, you know, my t-shirt was, um, I, I was teeny on the t-shirt, you couldn't even read me. So let's go all the other way. Um, oh, sorry. So you have to select the actual items. I don't have it nested yet. Um, I'm still trying to figure that out. So here we are, back to here. Um, again, everything has the same width. Well, now we're gonna go all the way up here and make them all have the same height. Um, and you can see that this one now is, you know, they, they all have the same kind of height here. And that that's, like I said, now these square ones aren't good. The horizontal logos are all stoked, but any of these square ones, uh, you know, look, look terrible. So ultimately, mathematically, you want this to be at 0.5 right there, and that's what it starts out at. And here you go, here at this point, you can now start to read pretty much everything has an equal balance. Um, if we bring this up to maybe the smallest one, you know, till you can read the smallest one, they're all now 
you know, size properly. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of what this does. Uh, you can manually do these visually, but I've done this, I don't know, a dozen times. And um, we have all these, uh, you know, vector logos. And this is just a really quick way to kind of normalize them all and ensure that they are, um, you know, they all take up the same, approximately the same amount of visual balance. Um, one note is if you have a ton of horizontal logos, what I tend to do is actually bring it up. Oh, geez, sorry. Um, I, I tend to bring this 0.5 up a little bit. Um, it kind of prioritizes the horizontal ones, but when there's a ton of those, that actually ends up being, uh, I don't know, seem, seems to be more effective. But yeah, there's no right or wrong. It's just kind of um, adjusting the taste accordingly, as I said here. So anyway, that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any other um, questions or features or whatever. I'm happy to add some. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is really easy to build. It was I was surprised how simple it was. Um, and I, I, I thought it would be a week or so, and it took me like maybe two days, uh, and like, like a day and a half probably. And um, it's just basically, um, it's in TypeScript, uh, and, and you just compile it. There's a up here in um, in the development in Figma. There's a you can hot reload it. So as you're saving, it's this plugin's updating and changing. And um, yeah, you just style with regular CSS, and the algorithm's all just JavaScript. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So um, so that's it. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will uh, see if I can help. Thanks.